Okay, we're back. And we do have a couple more questions for Ron. Ron, why are the white hats uh, not getting out the exposure as quickly as we would like it? With all the disruption and deaths that have been happening, do you think a resistance slash revolution is a solution to this? Um, you know, I, I, I like this question. <clears throat> And it it might be somebody that's trying to trap me. I don't care. Um, we we're at war between good and evil, and it's major. And people are losing their lives. And the the people who are losing their lives are the ones that we have to depend on to get this job done. If they all lost their lives, then it wouldn't get done, and the people who are dying now would be greatly um, increased because we don't have the facilities to make changes. So let's understand we're at war with between good and evil. You cannot see it. It's in the it's in the higher realms. It's in the space force as well as underneath the ground yes we have super soldiers that are going in and, and uh, rescuing children and have done maybe that's that's being curtailed now because all of the good stuff that can be done is being done and uh we'll just see how the heavens want to take care of the rest the rest of it so from our perspective, we're not down there in the in the the tunnels. We're not seeing the grotesque things that the and the way that the children have been tortured. We're we're not there to see that. So we don't think that the that the, anything's getting done. Why did Lahaina uh, have that terrible experience? You know, I asked that question. Uh, as well, and see, I have to be very careful because I have some very strong feelings that we should already have taken care of the mainstream media and get the right people in there. Because if they, the people who have not changed their minds are the people who are listening to the media, and if we change the people in the media, the same people would still be listening to the new words in the new understanding and because it came from a source that they are already looking at and believing in then they can be given the information and it can it can be done appropriately so that the changes can be made well those are those are my ideas and um, i discuss it with the alliance and have told them that very directly but there's things that i don't know about we're in involved in military deception what does that mean well a military deception is we're going to release the rv on the fourth of october okay that's a date the Alliance doesn't give dates. So how do you know if it's true or not? Well, the Alliance doesn't give dates. It'll always be a surprise. But you get a military deception like that, the enemy can do what they're going to do to try and stop it if that's what they believe is going to happen. And the the deception was we're never really going to do it that way anyway. So, uh it 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 produced the right results for the military deception because we deceived the the enemy and they did something and made a play and now we see a, a greater degree to what they can do and what they're doing and maybe we they got caught in the sting operation those are the kinds of things that we don't really understand and it's one of the things that i just really have to accept and let that be true because I don't like what's happening with death and destruction of people. 
and I, I'm always told, well, not one person will leave this earth because of somebody else's activity that was not supposed to take place. At some level, the souls of both of those individuals have to agree on their uh, on the passing of that individual, or it can't be done, or is not done. It's just the way the heavens haven't worked out. So I have to learn those things. Nobody dies be, uh, without the, their time being here. Some of the people I've been working with have lost their lives, and I'm really pissed off about it. But there's a, allow, you, there's a reason to allow things to take place the way that they're supposed to, because if not one, if if they leave only one person on the earth that will start doing all of this stuff, then it's going to stay around. So they have to be 100 percent finished and completed and it doesn't mean that that has to take place before we get our funds and start moving towards the things that we're going to be doing it can happen simultaneously that, but if we get our funds they're not going to stop working it's just that we get a chance to start doing the things that we feel are appropriate so um, they're not failing we can't see everything to see that they are not failing but we from where we are, Lahaina happens, so you're failing. Well, that's a real easy judgment call, and it's not really appropriate to do that way. It breaks my heart to even think that that's not appropriate because that's the way we feel. So we just have to allow the heavens to take care of things the way that they're supposed to be taken care of and know that in the end, everything that we want will come about in a way that we never thought possible in a solution a resolution to the problems that we would think would take years and years there's ways that can happen and it's just a surprise i didn't know they could do it this fast yeah and look what they did so let's be in harmony with the heavens let's not fight them let's not be pretending like they're bad <clears throat> Uh, doing the way things that they think that they know needs to be done. Uh, if you have a problem like I did with what they're doing, then talk to the heavens. You know, I, I wasn't shut up. I was told to express myself. And they listened. And then they said, now settle down and uh, find your peace again and, uh, and let us continue to do things that will produce the right results. So uh, I hope that this is helpful for anybody who's having faults with this. Understand that we can't see things that they can see. We don't know what they're taking into consideration. We don't know how many people have been lost. We may be as many people lost as there are those who are dying on, a, on an individual basis. I don't know that if, if that's true. I just don't know those kinds of things. So we just have to let it happen, <clears throat> be in harmony and not lose their your spiritual prowess because of something like this know that if you start judging and you start uh, uh, telling your way of looking at things and you should look at this and you didn't and all that sort of stuff uh, know that that's not really good for your spiritual growth so don't participate in that and i'm here to tell you that i i am sorry for what i did and i'm sorry for what for the damage it did to me on a personal basis. And I'll, I'll work through this because that's what I do. But I hope other people aren't doing that as well. So uh, I'll just let that go for now and we'll move on to the next question. Thank you, Ron. Thank you so much. And we will be right back. <clears throat> 